the Little Bird. It's far from being America's biggest military aircraft. It's tiny. From rotor to tip, it stretches just 27 feet and weighs in at around 1,600 pounds, no heavier than a cow. But this light attack helicopter more than measures up. What makes the Little Bird so special is that it packs a big punch in such a small package. Um, I think people underestimate this aircraft because of its size. It surprises everyone. At 175 miles per hour, it can carry six Special Forces commandos over 250 miles in darkness anywhere it wants to go. They can move in and out of even confined natural spaces with great ease and speed. The little bird, it's like a hummingbird. It just dashes in and out, and it's so quick, you blink your eyes, it's gone. That's what the beauty about it is. It's the coveted aircraft of choice for any mission impossible. Yet its origins lie 60 years back, when the US military realizes that light scout helicopters can track the enemy in a new, fast-moving era of warfare. It's 1960, and a company connected with legendary aviator Howard Hughes competes to design a light helicopter at an acceptable price. Hughes won, and I think across the board, everyone thinks that Hughes had the better product. They love the aircraft because it is so easy to work on. It's uh, not high dollar. The Americans leapt ahead with using these helicopters. This first Little Bird is an observation helicopter, the OH-6. Its four rotor blades are powered by an easy-to-maintain Allison turboshaft engine. It can throw itself around the sky at up to 150 miles per hour. It's like flying a sports car. It's nimble, fast. You can get in and out of a target area quickly. And they were therefore more difficult for the enemy to bring down in combat. But even if it does get knocked from the sky, this little bird protects its crew. It's built to survive. The crashworthiness of the OH-6 comes from its essential design around a, a thing called a truss A-frame. Right behind the pilot's seat, the A-frame dissipates and absorbs the force of impact. It stops the cockpit from being crushed. The truss A-frame is here, here, and underneath. In a crash, even if it hits the ground at some speed, the crew is protected by the in inherent strength of that truss A-frame. For attack, this little bird also packs a hefty punch, a 40-millimeter grenade launcher, or an M134 minigun, with six revolving barrels, pouring out 100 rounds of ammo every second. You could obviously choose those guns as, as per what the mission requires. You can be configured in different ways for different missions, and that's to do with what, what kind of enemy you think you're going to be facing and what kind of terrain. You're able to quickly rearm when needed, and since they don't have any fancy uh, aiming devices in the aircraft, the pilots literally dive down on the target. Awesome firepower and its spherical fuselage earns it a special nickname. They called it the killer egg. It definitely did that. Um, it's one egg you did not want to mess with. 